You're like, guys, what is up, Loot Games? And today I'm going to be showing my Fortnite Locker updated in Season 6. But I did do this last season, got a load of things wrong. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything about seasons this time. Because last time I did that, well, it didn't go down very well. And I got a lot of seasons wrong. So just before we get into that, let's get into the item shop. If you do want to support me as a creator, then put in Loot Games YouTube in the creator supported. It'd be much appreciated if you put Loot Games YouTube in there. Except, and then every purchase you make will go towards supporting the creator of course in this situation it would be me it'd be much appreciated guys and it will allow me to do giveaways for you guys in the future on fortnite anyway let's get right in to my locker straight away as you can see i've got a load of new skins i've purchased so many skins since last time but recently in season six nearer to the end maybe i'd say the last two or three weeks i've not really been buying the skins i mean i wanted to but i'll spend so much money on this game that i just don't even think it's worth buying any more skins maybe if you see one that i really like i might buy it but as you can see i've got the ravage and the raven from last time they are probably my favorite skins but let's go on. We do have the Arachne now. I think that's how you say that. I don't know how you say it. Ar Arachne. Arachne, I think. I don't know. But I really like this skin. I think it's really nice. I think it's a really nice skin. I do. I like the detail on it. Then we go over Battle Hound. We've got Calamity. We won't go through them all. I did max out Calamity in this season. Still got to max out Ragnarok, though. I've got like 2,000 XP, I think, on my challenges to max out Ragnarok. Yeah, not even that. 1,500 XP. So it's not even that much to max him out. Uh, the reason I haven't done that is because I really haven't played much Fortnite in Season 6. I still haven't even maxed out my Battle Pass. I'm only level 75. I've got six days left, and I've pretty much got every single challenge to complete. Been doing bits and pieces here and there, but I barely play the game anymore. So, yeah, let's jump right back into the skins anyway. So, I don't know which other ones are new. I believe I had all these skins. Maybe Power Cord is a new one. That's definitely a new one. Deadfire. I know Deadfire, it was, it was amazing. Honestly, when you level this guy up, it is insane. Seriously, it is, guys. I do really love it. What you do is you get kills, and it's sort of a reactive skin. So any of that little symbol is a reactive skin. And basically what that means is something happens, and in this case, he turns really cool. He goes blue and has loads of fire around him. So that's really awesome. We'll keep going on anyway, because a lot of these I did have before. I think I picked up the Love Ranger since last time. Really do like the Love Ranger skin, mainly just for the wings, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. Leviathan. Uh, I think Paimi, and also the Musha, I think I'd say. I don't know. I probably wrote did those names but yeah i think they're new skins that i have if we keep going down we've got fly trap which was last season i think and i'm not gonna get into seasons like i said anyway over here we do have the panda team leader really do like this skin i don't know why but they can recycle anything panda like i'm calling it that this christmas there'll be a christmas panda leader no joke it will probably could be called santa leader or something and have, have like red and white maybe green uh, as an edit style because you know how santa's green as well you, you know something like that uh, we do have power core like i say i don't know if i picked that up this season i can't remember but i definitely didn't get it when it was out but i was so glad when it came back into store because it's so cool uh we have red knight which we've had for a while we did pick up valkyrie but i never picked up legendary glider i didn't have enough v bucks for it but we do have the skin and one thing i really loved about the skin was the eyes now I'd, it'd be really cool if they made this a reactive skin and maybe you had like ice coming from her or something. I don't know. I think that'd make that skin so much cooler. Of course, over here, we do have the Spider Knight, which is the opposite. And it's the in the Arcanid set of the Arachne. The Rose Team Leader, which was given free. Rex, which I think we had anyway. And I believe Wild Card is one I picked up when uh, you can actually edit this one. I think it's really cool how it's got all the uh, cards on his face. Maybe you should have... Again, maybe been a reactive star where maybe, I don't know, cards grow on his suit or something when you get more kills. I don't know, something cool like that. But that was uh, when the actual game was in. I think it was called Break the Bank. I'm not, I'm not too sure on that, but I think it was Break the Bank. I did pick up Abstract this season as well because I didn't have it before. And I think it's a really cool skin. Reminds me a lot of Splatoon. Now, if we keep going on, of course, you can see the Beef Boss from the Dirt Burger set. I did want to get the Tomato one as well. But again, I just didn't have the V-Bucks for it. Yeah, we've got the Bright Gunner, which we already had. The Bunny Brawler, which is one of my favorite skins. Just look how cute. Look how cute those little those little slippers are. They're so cute. A little bunny tail and everything. It's so, so cute. Of course, over here, we've got the Cloak Star, which I thought was a really cool skin. Very ninja-like. 
and is cloaked in mystery. Over here, we do have Dante, which is, of course, a reactive skin as well. Really cool. Uh, I think that was a nice touch on the skins. Sort of reminded me of the school trooper a little bit, just with uh, modifications and a suit on, maybe. As we are going through, though, we did have Giddy Up, which also gives you a really cool emote that spits out glitter. We've got a gumshoe from Aston. We've got Hackivert, which is from the Hackivert set. I think that's how you say it. And the Hey Man. I thought the Hey Man was really cool. If you get the T-Pose, you can actually troll with this skin. It was so cool. I also picked up Heidi, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, I do like, actually like the Heidi skin. I've actually got a couple of wins in this skin right here. As we continue down, we do have Hollow Head and the Jack Gordon. I picked up all these skins. You know, I think this was going to be like one of the new rare skins, and then I'm pretty sure they bought it back in the shop again. I do have Ludwig as well, which is part of the Oktoberfest, and Night Night. And the peekaboo. Of course, it was October, so a lot of these are Halloween skins with pumpkin heads or just scary, something like that. We also got Plague, which I think was in this season, and the opposite to Plague, which is the Scor Scourge. I think it's scored. That's pretty much what it is. And then down here, we have Rosa as well, which is also reactive. They go really cool when they do level up. And yeah, it, it's so awesome seeing them level up. Now, I did pick up the school trooper. This is, of course, the fake school trooper. It's not like the, the one that was original. Picked up that school trooper. I thought it was really awesome. And we also have the spooky team leader. Again, they can recycle the skin again and again and again. And no matter the recycle, everyone will buy it. It is the hottest thing on the market. And I think we got the Rabbit Raider as well. I can't remember if we got that last time. I don't really like this skin as much as the other one because the Bunny Brawler is so cute. It looks so cool. And if we keep going down, you can see we also have more Halloween skins with straw ups. We've got Tomato Head there, which I think I said I didn't have. It wasn't Tomato. If it wasn't Tomato Head, I think it was the burger. Wait, was it burger that I didn't have? Or was, what was it? I can't actually remember. Okay, so it seems I have the beef and the actual tomato head skin. I thought I was missing one out. Maybe they put out another skin that I can't remember. But yeah, we've got the Trioc Troop here, which I believe this skin was last season and the glider was a helicopter. Now, if we go down into our rare skins, you can see I have picked up yet another. It's sort of, it's sort of like a Halloween skin. I wouldn't say it is a Halloween skin, but we do have the Dark Bomber. Again, another one that could have been reactive. I think this one could have glowed or something like that. Of course, this was all tied into the cube and all the corrupted areas and things like that. But I did really like the Dark Bomber. Even though it's just the reskin, the Bright Bomber, I really did like that skin. I thought it was a really cool one. We have Chopper as well. Chopper's a really cool one because they bought biker skins into the game. We have the First Strike Specialist, which is a rare First Strike Specialist outfit. Again, I'm not too sure how many of these are actually new since last time. But I will link the other video in the description. We've got Maximilian, which I believe was new. We also have the Skull Ranger. So not only the Skull Trooper... But we also have the School Ranger now, which is super awesome. Again, these skins, these rare ones, can actually be really rare. Like, Munitions Expert was rare at one point. I don't know. We've got Recon Scout. We have the Recon Specialist as well. Any of these little skins can actually be quite rare. I never actually got my hands on the opposite to Sushi Master, which I really did want to. But again, the V-Bucks, man. Now, we have the Zombie Default Tfue skin. Of course, this is a Tfue skin. No doubt. It is his default. And it is a zombie it suited him well at Halloween, but I don't think he even bought the skin. He don't buy skins. And then I'm pretty sure someone got and bought him all the skins. We do have a Bunny Moon as well. Again, I thought this was a really cute skin. And actually leads up into Christmas. As you do have Christmas lights on that, okay? Yeah, you have, you have Christmas lights on that. You could go to a Christmas party, okay? This skin is perfect for Christmas. So I'm just going to skip through my own comments now. We do have the Patch Patroller. These ones can become quite rare as well. Even though they are uncommon skins, they don't seem to come in, into the store that much. These skins can get quite rare. Like, honestly, they can. So comment below which skin you think is my most rare skin. I have no idea. I'm not going to talk seasons because, again, I'm not very good at that. But if you do know the seasons of all these, but they're really cool. Oh, well, here's another one that I missed. Another panda that I missed. The fireworks team leader, which is an epic outfit, which is really, really nice. I did like, I, I like, this was one of my favorites because I love blue. And, of course, it was cheap. Well, it wasn't. It was 1,500. But still, you got a nice emote with that. Now, of course, our bag blings, which is just bag blings. We've got the uh, little Kev, which I love getting from the cube of 
event. We also have the birthday cake, which is from the birthday cake event, the one year. We've got Chef uh, Choice, which I find really cool. It's like you're uh, carrying around a takeaway with you. The dark bag as well, which is a really cool one. But there's a lot of things here that would go well with a lot of different skins. Now, it's down to you how you decide to do these. I thought that was a cool one, having a guitar on my back. Uh, we've got the dragons, of course, from this season. We also have the ghost portal, which I, I found really cool, because it's got this little effect here where you can zoom out from things, and I don't know what, if that's supposed to be part of the game or not. Yeah, we have that, and we do have a cameo not bad. I mean, it was free, so I can't complain. Well, technically, I did pay for the battle pass. But we've got so many back bling. The doggos were so cute, though, that they've added. They just added, like, tons of different dogs. Are they going to do that next season? They're just going to add tons more different dogs? Right, we do have the Valkyrie wings. I do really like those. There is, um, another, the angel wings. The love wings. Not angel wings. Love wings, okay. I love those ones as well. Of course, you've got the six-string guitar as well, which I really did like. The spider shield, which goes really well with a lot of skins. Again, a lot of these things can go well with a lot of skins. I, I find that the capes go well with um, a lot of the skins. The Battle Shroud is a really nice one. Um, and the Dark Wings go so well with the Raven and the Ravenger. Honestly, they do. They're so, so nice. So anyway, we go over to our pickaxes. There is a lot of pickaxes in the game. And again, I'm not going to go through all these. Uh, you can have a look. Like, we've got the Bombfielder, Chomp Jr., Dark Shard, which actually is reactive as well. I like the reactive ones. They're really cool. Moonrise, which is probably one of my favorite pickaxes here. I think it looks really awesome. From the Knight's Code the set, which is really awesome. Again, we've got um, Rainbow Smash, which is actually reactive now, which is really nice. And we have the opposite to that, which is the Thunder Crash as well, which does become reactive. We also have the School Sickle, which I did really like. This was one of my favorite pickaxes for a while, until, until I got my hands on this Reaper Sickle Pickaxe harvest Harvesting Tool. Honestly, this one is just like, oh gee, I love it. I love the sound of it. Oh, it is so, so good, honestly. But you can hear all of them. You can play them all again. Again, if you do want me to do any specific videos with these, maybe like testing out different skins with the different emotes or the different pickaxes, really cool. I'll, I do really like that pickaxe as well. But again, I'm just going to go through these because pickaxes at the end of the day are just pickaxes. The web breaker was another one that I did really like. Uh, of course, we have the nice default boy right there, which is always is going to be the OG pickaxe. So if we go with the gliders, again, I'm just going to skip through most of these, go through some cool ones. I did miss out again on the uh, dragon, which was from the Valkyrie set, which I was I was a little bit disappointed about, to be fair, because I've got all the other legendary gliders. I'm pretty sure I'm missing out just the one. Uh, we do have the royal dragon now, which was I was missing last time, uh, which I said, oh, there was only, there's only the laser chomp. But no, there was the royal dragon as well. And uh, since then, they've got the hot rider as well, which the hot ride is so, so nice. All these are really big, though, and I don't don't like big gliders, although I do say that, and I am holding a big glider. So we've got the airlift again, the cloud strike, which I really like. This is an old one, but uh, yeah, I do really like that. And we've got the durable, I think that is. Uh, we have the cyclone, which was a really nice one as well. I thought that was really small and a uh, really nice. We have the crypto cruiser, which is huge again, but you can have two different edit styles. A little hand comes out of the bomb, which I thought was really, really, really cool. Do have the pterodactyl? We have the servo, which this was one of my favorite gliders for a while. I just loved how it came out. It Reminded me of Green Goblin. Really did remind me. You've got the White Squall as well. Wings of Valor, which is a really nice one. Then the Vice Roy Mark 1. Again, this is a really nice one. It's just huge. Venus Flyer. The Terminus, again, that was one of my favorite for a while. We have the Split sp split Wing as well, which is really, really nice. And we've got Splashdown, which was, I think, last season's end of... See, I might have got some of these wrong. And we have Spirit, which I'm actually rocking right now. This is, this is my current favorite glider, just because it's so majestic. When it comes out, it's just so, so majestic. Like, I ah, I love it. Absolutely love it. And, of course, it is reactive. So, the more kills you get, the longer you last in the game, the more it'll grow up. We've got the Covered Crusader, which a lot of people have and use. Feathered Flyer as well. I love that one. That was the Nevermore set. Of course, that's the Raven and the Ravengers. Uh, I've got Half Shell. Uh, I can't remember getting this. I must have got this for a while back, though. Yeah, you've just got your basic ones. Starfly. Nothing nothing really sticks out to me here. That They're, they're all right. Oktoberfest, again. I've wasted so much V-Bucks on some of these when I could have bought more skins and things like that. I do have all these as well. The Flying 
fish. Again, I'm not too sure which ones of these are rare, so if I do have any rare ones, comment below if you do know the rarity of any of these. And of course, you've got all your season wins. We've got the web umbrella for season six. We've got the uh, the umbrella, which I think was a win from season one. We've got the snowflake, which was a win from season three. I want to say I can't remember. I can't. Uh, maybe that was season four. I'm not sure. Parasol for season three. The standard bow glider. We've got the founder's umbrella. The founder's glider. And the beach umbrella. I do have a win in each season. I just don't think I've got all of them. No, I feel like I'm missing some of the gliders. Mm, I'm not too sure, though. But yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've got a win in every single season. Now, I'm not seeing on a lot of wins. I'll show you my stats in a minute. Let's just go over to the trails here. They need to add rarer trails. I mean, there needs to be a legendary one. There needs to be an epic. Why are they all epic? Well, I mean, why are they all rare? There needs to be, like, an epic one. There needs to be a common one. There needs to be, like everything okay one big thing that uh, disappoints me a lot is apparently I've, I've heard rumors that they're removing the default dance i mean how can you remove such a beautiful dance i don't even know and we have got a lot of emotes since last time we have over 23 pages of emotes i believe so yeah there we go we have the t-pos we've got take 14 very very nice thumbs up thumbs down there we go. So, yeah, that's really cool. Sparkler, which I thought was a really nice one. Really cheap. Really nice. Not amazing. Nothing spectacular, but cheap. Good. Slow clap as well. Salute. Again, a lot. I don't think a lot of these will be back in the store, you know, like this one. That's not going to come back in the store, which will make it a really rare emote, in my opinion. It probably will now. You watch. But, yeah, we've got a uh, we've got red card. We've got the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Donald Trump wave. Respect, which I really like. Respect. We have a lot of these as well. A lot of these. I believe this one was from the Walmart promotion. I can't remember, though. One of them was from the Walmart promotion. No, it was a spray, weren't it? And I don't think I have it. Unless I do have it, and I've totally missed it out. But there was basically a Walmart promotion going on. And I never, I don't think I ever did get the spray. And I don't know if it's only a US thing, but that sucks if it is. But the gentleman's dab, face palm, uh, the finger wag, no, 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 fist pump. We have loads of different emotes. Again, I'm not going to go through individually each ones. I might just go through my favorite. We've got Behold, I love that one. Ta-da! We have just killed a whole team, and uh, this is the emote you pull out. We've got Zany. We've got uh, You're Awesome. Take the L, Workout. We have got a lot of emotes here, guys. We've got the Sprinkler. Bum, 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 bum. Swipe it, which is a really cool emote. Take the L, Classic right there. We've got the Worm. We've got Tidy, which is a Snoop Dogg emote. Again, I don't think a lot of these will come back in the store. Like, treat yourself. I don't think that's going to come back in the store anytime soon. It might next Halloween, but we've got Twist. Spike it. Which I don't even know who buying this. I swear I got this for free. I swear someone gifted me this. I don't know if you can find that out. I could have sworn someone gifted me this because I've never bought this emote at all. Unless I got it for free. I don't know. Uh, some of these things. Yeah, yeah. You gotta love that. You gotta love that. Slivering. Running man. Uh, we're just gonna go through them anyway. Ride the pony. Raw, rambunctious. We've got the living large emote. Whoa. I, li I like that. See, you see that? That's really good. That's living large, proper. Right, catching a fish with loads and loads of money. Orange just this, of course. Lovely one. Pump a nickel, laugh it up. We've got the kiss kiss. Ah, oh, send it out to your favorite lovers on Fortnite. We've got kick ups, juggling. Juggling was a nice one. Do, 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 do. No, that's not the one, is it? I'm thinking of the Halloween one, which uh, is, is actually above. Hand signals, which is a really nice emote. I really love this one because it does a little al at the end. It's like. <laughs> flipping sexy, flipping incredible, flapper, uh, electro swing. Here we go. One of my favorite emotes in the game. Gotta love some, gotta love some of that electro swing. So we've got crisscross, confused. Again, if you do want to see any of these emotes, I, I, I can do a dedicated video to emotes, you know. Um, but again, you cannot check these out online. I'm sure there's lots of things online. And uh, yeah, we've got the best mates. Uh, there we go. Right, this is where we're gonna find the good emotes right here. The robot. We have true heart. We have. Vivacious, I think that is. Vivacious, star power, squat kick, which is the uh, OG emote right there, I think. I think that's... It was, was this like, one of the first ones that they bought out in, like, maybe season three, which was an epic one? I don't know. I'm not going to say when, but smooth moves, shake it up. A lot of these are new. Rock it out. Yeah, loving that. We've got fresh groove jam, llama bell, dum, 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 dum. And that reminds me of Ali Amy. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Electro shuffle, drop the bass, which is a nice one to have. I did make a video on that. Uh, I love the emote. And uh, break in, 
break down, boogie down. We have to fresh again, and a lot of these, again, I don't know how rare some of these are, but there is an emote called Headbanger. Is, is, is that down here or something? Yeah, there we go. A lot of people don't know, I, don't, I can't even remember where I bought this from. I think it was just in the store, but it was a really nice emote. I love the Headbanger. A lot of people ask me where I get that from, I don't know why. So yeah, I mean, that's my emotes, that's my uh, skins and everything like that. I mean... These aren't really that important, the loading screens, are they? I will get more, because I am going to finish all these challenges. I'll finish all the... Or if not, I'll, I'll finish most of them, yeah? And I'll, I'll get all these. Honestly, I've completed one week so far. That's terrible. We've got six days left, yeah? I'm recording this on a Thursday. This video will probably get on a Friday, okay? And by next week... I will be at level 100. I'm thinking about doing a Fortnite video before the season ends as well. Like, concluding season 6. Because this is concluding the skins. I don't think I'm going to buy any more skins, to be completely honest with you guys. But yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll just see if I get some V-Bucks for Christmas. You know, you know what it is. And you can go ahead and buy tiers now, but I don't buy tiers because I don't think it's worth it. Not when you have all these challenges to complete. Not only that, but you get daily challenges. Not only that, you actually get the levels up as well, which you get 10 stars each 10. And I'm pretty sure you get five stars each five as well so yeah it's very very nice so again guys if you do want to support me as a creator use loot games youtube as a support creator again if we do get a lot of support creators i've got a fair few at the minute i think i've got about 50 at the minute which was amazing but that's 50 different transactions and i will put these into giveaways in the future so anyway guys i'll catch you next time and let's just show you my wins now i don't have a lot of wins not at all like 17 solo 12 duo and 25 squads, okay? I don't win a lot. I suck at the game. And, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just a skin hoarder. That's what I am. I suck. Please hit subscribe. Stay frosty. And peace.